Calamity, thy name is Toru. Up, Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 8, JoJo Leon Chapter 97. So, let's be real, last chapter basically all but confirmed that Toru is the head doctor. And, um, and Toru is heading towards the Hika uh, Higashikata estate, and that's when Toru gets there, that's going to confirm uh, that Toru is the head doctor, and the head doctor himself is the stand. Watch. Anyway, uh, let's get to this chapter and see what a rock eye has in store for us this month. Um, ooh, and Jobin's on the, on the, uh, title page this month. Can the heat, uh, can that heat burn the calamity away? Oh, God. You ain't gonna be able to burn shit until Toru gets there, seriously. And this chapter is titled Endless Calamity Part 3. Um... Um, it has invaded the house. No, don't launch an attack on the head doctor. If you chase it after him, a calamity will befall us. Uh, Speed King. Dude, I love Speed King's design. It is so fucking badass. Woo! Here it comes. A can of hairspray? So then, where'd he go? What was that about a calamity? Oh, there it is! Mitsubo, where is he? I, I don't know. He just disappeared, but I'm sure he dove under the bedspread. Up until now, he, um, was always, um, he, wait, he was always, he, uh, damn typo! Jesus Christ! He has always seemed to be a ways off, uh, from the house, but then and all of a sudden he'd come inside. I I'm not able to see him. You said it took the form of the head doctor, but it's a stand? See! I told you, motherfuckers, it's a stand! I said it! I told you, the end of chapter like really really confirmed all but confirmed that um that the head doctor himself is the stand that is the motherfucking stand i think we all knew to an extent that that was the stand itself the fucking last chapter really confirmed it uh the head doctor is disaster taking form calamities keep coming that is the stand um they keep going on and on silently these attacks have been going on all this time um all this time trying to find where the, that fruit is located i know that much he's after that fruit uh thinking about how that this started right after i'd entered uh wutamaki's lab at uh Gigi University Hospital, these stands, uh, stand attacks on me. I'm sure Yashua uh, Sama is undergoing the same disasters when she came to this house. Um, I'll bet that Mamazuke, uh, Mamazuku Rai and uh, Higashikata Jessica are undergoing the same attacks. The four of us all went to the lab back then. This, goal's, uh, this stand's goal is to make uh, everyone destroy themselves and flush out the location of the fruit. Dear. Dear. So it's a long distance automatic attack, attack stand? See? You... Dude, it's fucking Toru, man. You cannot deny... I, I, I mean, last chapter, like, as I said, last chapter all but confirmed that it was Toru. I swear, you're just making it too easy to confirm that it's Toru, Rockeye. Seriously. We need to get out of here. Uh, Saruki, he's almost out of time. The disasters will keep assaulting the Higashikata house. It's not good. It's not helping that Toru is heading this way. They're just going to keep, um, going endlessly. As long as I have the new Rokaka Kai, uh, as long as I have the new Rokaka Kai, you mean? Please, dear, please, what, just, what should we do? Mitsuba, I haven't talked about, much about this sort of thing before, but I want to thank you for always staying by my side. Thank you for being by my side even now. Um, it's because you were here that I am, I am here as I am right now. You've caused me, to, uh, you've caused me to exist. And because you're here, Saruki is here in the Higashikata house as well. There's really no reason to assign a sequence to it, but that sequence is precious to me. And that precious thing is something I'll never let go of. Mitsuba, don't move from that spot. The user must be around uh, somewhere. And if they've already found out about the new Rokakaka, then they must be coming towards the ma mansion. They already are regardless! In, co in fact, it's convenient. In front of the garage, that's Rose Yashuo. There he comes. Someone's on the other side of the garage. They're watching Yashuo in the house from among the trees. Hmm. <laughs> there he is! There's Toru! This <laughs> is confirming it! Oh my god! Uh, that's strange. I feel like I'm having trouble breathing. Oh my god! This fucking confirms it, man! This just confirmed... Okay, you cannot deny it anymore! This confirms... 
deserves that Toru, that Toru is the one behind all this shit. That the head doctor is Toru Stan. You cannot deny this anymore. I swear to God, you cannot deny it anymore. This confirms that Toru is the fucking head doctor. Uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, oh. Gas? A can of hairspray? Uh-oh. Mitsuba? Super no, 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 no! No! No, do not- I swear to God, Araka, if you killed Mitsuba, I will hate you. M Mitsuba, Surugi, what in the world is this? Oh, oh shit. Surugi! Oh, my God. Sataru. Dude, that is the fucking stand. You cannot deny this shit. I'm so sorry I didn't introduce myself properly. I'm, uh, Taoka from Pangea Land. Uh, on your nose and, uh, your left and right cheeks, are those pam- uh, are those pimples? Dude, this must be a fucking advanced-ass stand. Like, damn, Toru. Jesus. How long have you had those on your face? They're rather swollen and they may be full of pus. Allow us to look- take a look at you at our hospital. Uh, no, these aren't anything to... It's all right, no need to worry, sir. Hmm. So then, head doctor, let's just get to... Uh, let's... You are not changing my mind. Toru is the fucking head doctor. This freaking confirmed that this is... This, I don't care what you tell me. Toru is the fucking head doctor. Period. Uh, so then, head doctor, uh, let's uh, just get... Just get right into it, shall we? There's a recorder in here, isn't isn't there? Anyhow, let me just ask this straight out. Just a few minutes ago, a package suddenly arrived addressed to me uh, here right at the lecture hall. This package right here, um, I opened it with the utmost caution and found it inside, uh, inside it. Uh, I found an SD card with this video on it. Oh, this video was just re was recorded just 40 minutes ago. Here, let me give you a car uh, card. I put a copy of it on. This patient pictured in the video right now, uh, they're in the Teaching University Hospital basement, yes? In other words, they're right here. Her name is Kira Hollison, and it seems she's a doctor at this ho hospital. <laughs> Jessica, you sneaky-ass mofo! Uh, so, um, uh, there's this one other thing in the package. Uh, this is, oh, man! Oh, we're gonna see what's in the box. Oh, God. The other thing that's in the box. Uh, this jar was also inside it. Please take a look. Keep in mind, this was uh, directed, um, this was delivered directly to me. Inside the box is broken uh, apart fruit. I believe that's what this is. Not a whole one, just a number of fragments of a broken up fruit. And also, based on uh, the video, there's a lab on the third floor uh, of this hospital, and they seem to be cultivate being cultivated there. Who did you get that from? Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I can't let you touch the jar, sir. And it's against the rules for a reporter to reveal their sources, Mr. Head Doctor. So, um, in your lecture, the regenerative medicine treatment, Lokakaka 6251, that's this fruit, is it? This is, of course, just an educated guess, but this is the raw material for the Lokakaka 6, 6251, isn't it? Please, I'd like your answer. Busted! And also, yes, we got the face of, I know, I... I should have pointed this out sooner. Yes, we finally got the face of the head doctor. But this is really interesting, though. How, um... How has the... 
is it I'm very curious if um if this is like the real head doctor and like Toru just has like a copy of the stand and the, uh, of the stand or can he like activate it like multiple ones at once I'm just so curious about that I'm, that's the thing that I'm kind of confused on because we got we definitely have the for sure that there's the head fo stand that's in the form of the head doctor that um is uh uh that is over at the H Higashikata estate that is definitely confirmed but this head doctor here I don't know if he's the real one or like what if he if he's the real head doctor and not a stand if that is Toru's father I will, or like grandfather or something I will lose my fucking shit and if it's not just mice you're, you've done clinical trials on, but this Kira Holly song shown in the video, then head doctor, that would be a, a rather large problem. Busted! Did you perhaps go- Oh, did you perhaps come here intending to pursue me? Yes, that's right. I'm chasing after you. If this vi video is real, then it's over for you. I'm going to pursue you to the ends of the earth, and it'll be the end of this hospital. I see. So you are pursuing me. I understand. So then the lid of this jar, have you tried opening it? What I'm saying is, simply looking at- no, it's a trap! Simply looking at the jar from the outside, you wouldn't know for sure, for certain what um, that what it, what's inside it, it is a fruit. No, it, isn't that right? Though it certainly seems to be a uh, be fragments of something. But look at from the outside; those may be potato fragments or perhaps onion fragments. It may not look like an onion, but that definitely looks like it could be a large mushroom. How can you be so definitive uh, definitive in um, saying that what's inside that jar is a fruit? What are you trying to say? This is a fruit. I'm explaining that the fact that you opened the jar because after you received the package, you opened the lid with your hands and you smelled it. And it's because it gave off the sweet and sour scent of a fruit that you came into this room thinking it was a fruit. And you got all excited thinking, I've got an exclusive scoop here, didn't you? And then you perhaps got some fruit juice from the lid stuck to your finger, um, just a little of it. So, or perhaps you were careless um, and licked that finger. If they were particularly unlucky, there's a rather good chance that when you put... Uh, that you were when you were putting the lid back on, some fruit juice seeped into a small cut on your skin or your fingernail. Seriously, what are you getting at, head doctor? I have no idea. I'm going to have the components of this fruit analyzed by a trustworthy uh, research establishment. There is no need. I already understand. This fruit is unmistakably a rakakaka. I just explained it to you as well, didn't I? Perhaps you should try looking at your own face. And what you were uh, saying regarding your source on the matter? I know who who it was that sent the package as well. Hey, head doctor. What the hell? Oh, shit. Where do you think you're going? I wasn't even close to ha um, uh, having uh, finished my questions. Whomever it may be, they would always be better off without pursuing me. Oh, there's the pimples are gone. Oh, shit. But... Oh. No! What?! Oh my god, this is- Oh, Rocco, I just have to have this fucked upness! Uh-oh. He's coming from behind me. Up until now, he's always been in front of me, trying to make me pursue him. But he is coming this way, so that means he's going to the same place I am, which means he's going to where Josuke is. Definitely can't pursue him myself. Oh, shit. But I can make him come to me. Uh, it's he, uh, Higashikata Josuke. Interesting. So, he's not pursuing, he's inviting. The time ripe as well? Like, dude! Okay, the, um, time until, uh, the harvest of the new Rokakaka, two hours, eleven minutes. Okay, so something that I'm curious about here, and this, maybe this is why, um, uh, Toru is wearing the earbuds like he is. Um is maybe he's uh, because i was just thinking like how is that stand able to talk because we know the head doctor is a stand how is the he stand able to fucking talk and i wonder if it has something to do with the, the earbuds i wonder if that's what it is i'm just very very curious about that but man this chapter this chapter confirms it for me man but man, I'm so curious um, what you guys think in regards to that.
Um, because, yeah, because based on this, the end of this chapter right here where it says, it's he, uh, Higashikata Josuke, interesting, so he's not pursuing, he's inviting. Because, let's see, what, if the, um, I want to just double check something with the doctor, if he is wearing, like, an earbud or something. He's not wearing an earbud that we know, that we can see. Yeah, he ain't wearing no earbuds. He ain't wearing no earbuds. So yeah, from what we could tell, that um, that it's up to uh, Toru to activate the um, the ability to activate the stand ability, obviously, and um, so it's not like completely automatic until. Until, uh, the obviously, until the conditions are met, and then he can activate it. Okay, so that makes sense. But, the, again, the only thing that is just really puzzling me is how he's getting the doctor to talk. I'm thinking it's me. I'm guessing, again, I'm guessing it's through the earbuds. There's, like, some, uh, there's something. I don't know. What, I, I'm very curious what you guys think, if it's telepathically or what. But, again, let's be real. The head doctor is Toru confirmed. Yeah. It, it, it is it is confirmed, man. That is fucking Toru. It, that is goddamn Toru. The doctor is Toru. Yes, it is. Yes, I fucking told you guys it was Toru. I called this like a uh, while ago. Not initially when, uh, you know, when we first saw Toru, but like as time went on, it just looks just something seemed suspicious. But man, that was Toru! Oh my god, so Endgame is Toru. But it's gonna be interesting to see how um, shit goes down here. So now the question remains is I think Yashuo is done. She's done in this. What about, and, the, and I th um, I'm very actually Yashuo might still be able to get but I honestly doubt it. Jobin, I was thinking Jobin was gonna be able to fight Toru. But I think Jobin's done. I'm kind of disappointed if Jobin is done. Like, I think he is. But we'll have to wait and see in regards to Jobin. Um, because I think Mitsuba can, uh, if I remember correctly, I think with Mitsuba's stand, she'd be able to uh, heal Jobin. Yeah, with Mitsuba's stand, she should be able to fix Jobin up. So Jobin, I would love, I think we're going to see... Um, I think we're gonna. I really think we're gonna see Josuke versus the Stand. I I think Endgame is. I really. Oh God. I I think ultimately Endgame is gonna be Toru versus uh, Josuke. Endgame is totally gonna be Josuke versus Toru. It has to be. It has to be. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys um Do you guys think it, it's gonna ultimately Endgame like uh, Josuke is gonna fight the Stand for a little while? And, um, and, and Rai is gonna, uh, I don't know if Rai's gonna be able to follow, um, follow the stand or not, because the stand's gonna be so focused on going after Josuke, like, Toru's gonna be so focused on Josuke, that I think Rai might be able to follow, um, or, you know what, I wonder if Rai might be focused on, m might be able to, like, trace, uh, trace the head doctor back to Toru, and, Rai would go to Toru from there. That's what I'm curious about, actually. And so that way, uh, when the time's right, Toru could be like to Josuke, Josuke, motherfuckers are over there. Let's go. So, curious what you guys think. What do you guys think Endgame's gonna be? I really um, am leaning towards Endgame being uh, Toru versus um, uh, Josuke more than... Um, uh, more. We might end up, like, might end up getting, after everything's all said and done between Toru versus Josuke, that we might get a Josuke versus Jobin situation. I'm curious what you guys think in regards to that. Uh, but for now, um, right now, it's definitely gonna be, uh, Toru versus, um, uh, versus Josuke for Endgame for me.
Anyway, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, JoJo content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!